Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mindful Homestead. Jack here and today we're going to check something out that hooked me when I was in the feed store. Stay tuned. So Emma and I are in the feed store this morning and we're in there for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I'm doing some research for an upcoming video that is going to hopefully, that'll come out next week. I'm in there because I want to grab some cabbage because we are out of cabbage in the garden. Our six heads that we grew have harvested already. So wanted to grab some seedlings to start. Uh, it's a little too late to start more from seed. So I just grabbed these quick and I'm grabbing some turkey food because as anybody who has animals has known, you run out of food at the most inopportune times. And when I fed them this morning, I realized I didn't have any more food. So I had to go get some turkey food. While I was in the farm store though, something caught my eye. I'm gonna go give him some scratch grain so hopefully he chills out. All right, where was I? So some of you may know, I'm a kind of a knife guy. Uh, I have a lot of different knives, both folders, fixed blades. Um, you know, I, I switch out my rotation of, of what knives I carry on each given day. And it's just kind of something I'm into. It's not like a full blown hobby, but, um, but I like knives. You know, a lot of people like knives. My everyday carry right now has lately been this Leatherman Sidekick, you know, good size blade for kind of doing everything around the farm. Uh, it's what I've used as a harvest knife for a long time now. You know, if I've got it in my pocket, use it to cut whatever I need to in the garden. So I'm a big fan of knives. I'm a big fan of axes and hatchets and basically all things sharp. And one of the companies whose axes I'm a real big fan of is a company called Fiskars, who you may know for their scissors. They're extremely popular and they've been ramping up in popularity in the United States over the last few years for all of their cutting implements, whether they're axes, whether they're hatchets, uh, but they also have a great variety of garden tools, both pruners, loppers, uh, garden shears, things like that. And they've been really, really well received and they're, I think they're pretty high quality products. But what I saw today in the farm store was this. This is the Fiskars produce knife and it is a folding knife um, that has a rubberized handle like a lot of Fiskars products and a curved blade on the end that the little illustration here shows you is meant to help cut, pr cut fruit and vegetables and things off of the vine without doing damage. Uh, harvest delicate fruit, you flip over to the back and it says make clean, precise cuts on small stalks and stems without damaging the surrounding plants. And I gotta say, this kind of intrigued me based on the fact that there's kind of two schools of thoughts on harvesting vegetables in the garden. There are blades like what I carry in my pocket, uh, just a straight kind of pocket knife blade where you get your plant or your whatever you're gonna cut and you essentially just give a little saw action on it and it comes off. And then you've got larger blades which are curved and you can use them to essentially hook what you're trying to harvest and pull it. And uh, they're also known as like corn blades or corn knives. And that's something a lot of people use as well. But I'm a sucker and I saw this thing and I said, I'm gonna buy it. And uh, that was, that's the story. She came home with me. So I have already opened this. I threw it back in the package so we can kind of see what it looks like packaged in the store. Uh, I'm gonna take the camera. I'm gonna bring it down to the table behind me and we're gonna take a little bit closer look at this uh, before we go out in the garden and we actually play with it and see how it works. So here we are looking at the knife unfolded. Uh, it is a locking design. You have a little button right here that acts as a lock for the blade. It tucks away nicely when not in use. The only steel designation I could find, you can see it there, is stainless steel. But it is a locking design, which is kind of nice. It locks open, it does not lock closed but it's fairly, fairly stiff, not hard to open. You can see partial liners in the knife, but those liners don't go all the way through. Handle, doesn't feel bad. Length of the blade, coming in just under three inches. You've got that cool shape to it with the hook on the end. It is a chisel grind with a secondary bevel. So chisel, you've got one side here 
And if you flip to the other side of the knife, you can see it's flat. So it shouldn't be too hard to sharpen. Might be a little tricky up toward the tip here. It's plenty sharp out of the box for what we're gonna be doing. Uh, obviously, if you wanted it razor sharp, you could do that. Uh, I've never typically been disappointed with sharpness on Fisker's implements. Um, this is not the sharpest Fisker's blade I've ever owned, but it's totally adequate. So let's take this thing out into the garden and see how she does. If you follow us on Instagram, then you know that our brassicas have been doing extremely well this year. Cabbage has been the best we've ever grown. Broccoli has been the best we've ever grown. So that's what I'm gonna harvest here. Typically those are the ones that you see a lot of people using curved knives for. So we're gonna try that. Um, pull a little broccoli out for dinner. And then maybe we'll try it on, we've got a yellow squash that we thought was a spaghetti squash. So we let it keep going and going and going. And uh, we didn't realize until like the other day that, oh, that's not a spaghetti squash, that's a yellow squash. So we'll pull that as well. Um, and while we might not eat it or we might just stuff it, uh, but you can kind of see how it works. Tell you what, I don't know if it's all the rain that we've gotten, but uh, these things are just going crazy. This is, this broccoli right here we harvested yesterday and it has three more florets on it that are ready to go. And I can see besides the three florets around the outside, there's one, two, three that are gonna be growing in soon anyway. These, this, this broccoli is incredible. The downside to that is right now, uh, it's about to start raining. Um, I gotta hurry this video up. But it is so humid out here right now that it, it feels like you're literally walking through soup. So yeah, let's get this video done. I've got a couple bags of grain in the back of my truck too I've got to pull out too. Fisker's Produce Knife. Let's give it a shot. Not bad. Clean cuts on both. All right, let's try that huge squash over here. And of course, I just uh, I set the whole camera up for the shot and cut this thing off without uh, without filming it. Um, as you can see up top there, it cut through it no problem. And that hook shape of the end of the blade was actually kind of nice for uh, getting in there and, and getting on this stalk here and just essentially pulling back once and it hooked and sliced right through. All right, I'm gonna hustle to get my thoughts on this thing out so that uh, I don't get rained on or struck by lightning or anything right here since I've got a camera tripod which is made of aluminum and um, I'm standing in the middle of the, of the woods here. So all in all, a pretty handy little tool. I don't know if at $20 it's a must have. I had a rewards coupon for the store I was at so it cost me a little bit under 20 bucks. I think the, the blade shape of it is nice for a garden tool. Uh, having that hook on the end definitely makes getting around stalks a little bit more convenient. I like the ability of the handle. You could definitely choke up on this thing and, and kind of use your thumb. Um, you know, a lot of times they say don't ever cut toward your thumb, but with a blade shape like this, and you know, you can kind of get in there and, and it's not the end of the world if you're gonna work with it like this. Um, for smaller, more delicate work, I think you'd want to choke up even more and essentially just use this hook almost to like, if you were pulling off bunches of grapes or fruit or something like that, just choke up and use it like that. That way you're not trying to slash with like a whole blade here. A three inch blade like this is pretty big for, for delicate work. Um, having that little hook on the tip there, it definitely makes the blade feel a little shorter than it actually is, especially if you choke up on it and use it like that. Um, closed, it, it's a wonder to, to fit in my pocket. I can throw it in my pocket and I don't even know that it's there. Um, it's super narrow, so it doesn't have a whole lot of profile to it when you put it in your pocket. This doesn't feel really fat. I wish that they would have put a, a pocket clip on it. That way you could carry it on your pocket. Um, you know, this is actually a really nice shape for that where you know, if you were carrying it in your pocket like this, a clip could go right over and, and you wouldn't even really know it's there. But that's something if I really wanted to, 
Uh, you know, I, I could actually even add a pocket clip later. This is just injection molded plastic. You can put some screws in there and I'm sure, I'm sure I have a pocket clip off of another knife that I could throw on there. Uh, overall fit and finish of the blade is kind of nice. Um, knife folks in general are gonna have some things to pick at. Uh, you can see the blade centering on it is not stellar. It's a little off center there. Uh, there are torques. There is a Torx bolt there that you may be able to adjust this. Um, but other than that, the, the grind on the blade looks really nice. The polish on the blade is really nice. The spine on the blade is, is chamfered a little bit. So it's not going to tear up your fingers or hurt or anything. You can see I've actually got a callus that I ripped open right there. Uh, that was actually from using a knife that had a very sharp spine and I was using it in kind of a kitchen maneuver. So I was holding it like that and it ended up cutting the callus that I had formed on this finger. So that hurts. Um, I appreciate Fiskers taking the time to, to get the fit and finish on this knife right as far as the blade goes. My final thoughts on this, if you have 20 bucks burning a hole in your pocket and you want a new gadget for your garden, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, I don't think you need it. Um, if you already have a tool that you like for harvesting things in your garden, but if you don't have anything that you use in the garden, if you're just kind of twisting and pulling everything off the vine, uh, or you want something that's a little bit more suited toward dedicated garden work, I don't think there's any harm in picking this thing up for 20 bucks. Uh, it's a Fiskars product. It does have a lifetime warranty on it. So if anything does go wrong with this, um, you do have the peace of mind that you can send it back to Fiskars and they'll either send you a new one or fix the one you have. Uh, Fiskars customer service has been incredible from what I've heard. I've never actually had to use it on any of the products I own from them. So uh, I think that speaks a lot. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, make sure to head down below and hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell next to it and YouTube will give you a notification whenever we put out a new video. As always, we thank you for watching our videos here at the Mindful Homestead. Have a great day. Bye.